use positioning systems here to show you how to connect your Arrow brand of receivers to the iOS GPS app called ICMT GS Pro. It's a unique app that allows you to collect points with point averaging and it's a one-time purchase for the Apple Store. So we have an Arrow 200 connected to our antenna on the roof right now and you can see we're currently getting SBAS corrections and our horizontal estimate accuracy is about 50 centimeters. The very cool thing about the Aero 200 is if you're working in areas with no cell phone service and you cannot receive your RTK corrections, you can still use it as a submeter accurate device. And then once you have cell phone reception again, you can turn on your RTK corrections. So we're gonna show you both how to set up ICMTGS Pro to work with submeter accuracy from SBAS corrections, such as with an Arrow Light or an Arrow 100. And then we'll turn on our RTK corrections and show you how to set up ICMT GS Pro for using RTK corrections and getting that centimeter accuracy with our Arrow 200. So let's close EOS Tools Pro. And you can see there is ICMT GS Pro for Apple devices. This is the interface page for ICM TGS Pro, and there's two main toggles that we're going to use at the top here to set up our GPS connection. First, in the upper left, this is our main menu, and what we need to do is go into Setup, and then choose GPS. Now, the first thing we have to do is enable our external GPS receiver, and you can see it knows that we're connected to an EOS receiver, and for protocol, what you need to select is this third option here, this position source, so that the metadata from the arrow receiver is pulled directly into ICMT GS Pro. You also want to make sure you have the check RMS limit selected. And since we're doing sub meter SBAS corrections, we'll just leave it at two meters there. And for age limit, we'll set this to 1800 seconds because with the coast capability of the arrow receiver, if we have our SBAS corrections and we go into the tree canopy, it'll continue to use those corrections to get us to our submeter accuracy data for up to 40 minutes before we need to go back out in the open and reacquire the SBAS satellites and download the latest SBAS corrections. Now in Datum, the important thing with Datum is that you need to scroll down here and select the newest datum, which is this uh, ITRF05. This is actually WGS84, ITRF05, so it's 2005. And then check in here with updates to ICMT over time as they update the datum options in here and we can get closer to the current year. For epoch datum conversion, what well, you need to remember for SBAS corrections or for using ATLAS corrections from the ATLAS satellites, you need to set this to the current year plus half a year. So this is 2016, so we want to set this to June 1, 2016. And then in January 2017, you'll want to update this epoch to June 1, 2017. So it's the current year plus a half year. And then for antenna, if you're using a standard two meter range pole with the arrow receiver antenna placed on top, you need to, in the slant height there, you need to enter 2.095 meters and I'll update the antenna height. That is the correct antenna height for the arrow receiver antenna placed on top of a two meter range pole. And then we hit okay. And then we go to GPS and we turn on our external GPS and this will bring our metadata in. And you can see that we are currently utilizing 17 satellites with a horizontal accuracy of about 20 centimeters. And our diff age currently is bounced around four to seven seconds. And then what we also have to do is tap on our GPS button there in the center and turn on our external GPS. And it takes a second to pull up, but you can see now, without having to leave ICMTGS Pro, we can see our number of satellites being utilized right now are 17. Our estimated horizontal accuracy is around 40 centimeters. Our PDOP is 1.3. And our diff age, you can see, is counting up between 4 and 7. Now, that's standard. This is great. Now, let's go ahead and turn this back off. We're going to go back to EOS Tools Pro and we are going to switch from SBAS corrections to RTK corrections.
So we're going to go differential. And now it's going to switch to float. And while it's going to fix, let's go back to ICMTGS Pro. And let's go back to setup, GPS. And now what we'd like to do is we'd like to change the age limit. Let's change this to five. And then let's go to datum. Now what we have to do, because RTK networks are broadcast in NAT83, we need to change this to this bottom selection here, NAT83 cores 96, 98. Our antenna height is already set. Let's go OK, GPS, turn external GPS on. And now you can see we're getting our RTK corrections and our horizontal estimated accuracy is 1.3 centimeters instead of the higher number when we were just receiving uh, SBAS corrections. And you can see our age is bouncing back and forth between one and two. So again, please contact us if you have any questions and are interested in our Aero brand or receivers. And thank you and have a great day.